obviously you guys played very well against USC. When did you kind of sense that the next generation w was ready to go after the opt-outs to kind of fill in for those guys? Um, honestly, I mean, just at the beginning, we, we kind of knew um, a lot of the young guys we've had have played last year and even the new guys that have come in this past year seemed ready to go just throughout everything. And it was, it was good to see and just, I know the future is bright for us. Uh, we definitely want to enjoy this bowl and, and go out with the, the victory for those seniors and everything like that. But I feel like we've been ready to go. Ryan, another follow-up question? Sure. Um, does Brock Purdy remind you of anyone you've seen or is he unique? How would you kind of describe Iowa State's quarterback and, and what they're going to throw at you? Um, he's a good quarterback. Uh, he makes some really good throws. He's active with his feet. So um, I just think if we, we do our job and stay, stay good in coverage, I don't think we should really have any problems. But he's a great quarterback. Uh, he's done a good job in film. He's been the starter for quite some time now. So he's done a good job. We'll go to Eric Soapkill with 24-7 Sports. Bruin, sorry, I jumped over here a little bit late, so you might have already been asked this, but just kind of a recap of, of what the last week or so of practice has been and, and kind of just a general feel for what the, the Cyclones are throwing at you. Uh, well, we've, we've been going over everything, all the person knows that they have, uh, what they like to do, the sets, uh, the different running backs, and just making sure we keep going in and in and in on it just to make sure that we are – we're ready to go. Um, we've probably done the most part. Now it's just about tidying things up before the game on Saturday. Uh, we've had some good weeks of practice, um, some good practices, and just ready to go. Uh, let's go to Jerry Smith. Brown, I coach said earlier on that this is the most physical team that he's coached against in a long time, if not ever. When you watched uh, Iowa State, what is it about their physicality that sticks out at you? How is it going to affect your part of the game? Uh, really how physical they are up front and how patient the running back is. And then, of course, um, number 88, he does a really good job when he flexes out as a receiver and catching the ball and, and being able to make some things happen after the catch. So, those are two things that really stood out to me. Uh, their line does a good job getting their pads down and really firing off the ball. And their running back, we all know they have a, a good running back, a guy who's really patient and once he sees the hole, he knows how to hit it. So we have to make sure that we, we tackle really well because after the fact, if we, if we miss tackles, that gives him more yards to gain. And then, of course, making sure our coverage is good, especially for me being on the radiate, making sure that I do my best job to just kind of neutralize him and make sure that they're not a two-dimensional team trying to make them one-dimensional. Go back to Ryan. Ron, is there a, a thing or two you can put your finger on of what changed defensively after the Oregon State game? It seems like from that point on, you guys have kind of played at, at the level you're used to playing at. Um, we, we had some conversations after that game, just what we need to change and what, what we need to improve on and how we all need to step up and kind of be dogs. I uh, felt like we weren't playing up to our standard and even after that, we just have to keep building on it. Um, you know, th bad things happen, adversity happens, and we just have to respond to it. I feel like the past few weeks, we've done a good job of it. And we just want to continue that throughout this bowl game and throughout the years to come. So. Let's go back to Eric with 24-7 Sports. Yeah, Verone, building off that, you said years to come. And I was wondering if the way you guys started the season and the way you guys have now finished it, obviously, the bowl game hasn't been played. But if, if that can be something that, you know, the upcoming years, you are a really young defense, that can be kind of something you rally around in the future when you guys have ups and downs. Wait, so wait repeat the question, please. Just, just the ups and downs you guys overcame this year to finish the season so strong. If that's something you think in 2021 and in the future, you think you guys can can turn to when there are ups and downs of a season? Um, we definitely can. Um, I would, I would say that just kind of being, you got to communicate with each other, and that you got to be able to to have those real conversations. Because if nobody, nobody says anything, nothing's going to get solved. So when there's any type of problem, anything, we just have to bounce back, and especially. Defensively, bad things happen. You could have an interception thrown or fumble. So having to get back on the field is something that you can go through everyday life and just having to bounce back and respond and forget whatever happened in the past and just move forward. So hope that answers your question. Let's go to Jerry Smith. Verone, this is um, uh, 
obviously uh, an unusual year. You guys lost the spring ball. You didn't really get to practice uh, and, and do much through the summer other than with yourselves. And you got such a late start in the fall with a young team. How much did that affect the continuity, the communication? Did it put you behind when the season finally started? Is it, it is that a, a, why it's taking you guys so long to finally come together? Um, I, I would say that it was a little, it was a little challenging, uh, just because we had to we had to separate so much with social distancing and everything. We couldn't have really big groups, so some of the freshman defense would be here, and the freshman offense would be here, and then we'd separate by positions and things. So it was a little difficult. You really had to reach out to guys and check on people, even when we weren't here, it's just check on people and just having our own workouts as well. But um, I, I would just say that it was difficult. And I'm glad that we've progressed throughout the season. You can tell guys are a lot closer off the field as well and on the field. And that's why I feel like it's helped us as well a lot just throughout the season of getting better and better and better. And even seeing young guys step up to the challenge and having to play because a lot of young guys have had to play this year. A lot of things have happened. Thing. So just making sure that everybody's ready to go as well. Eric again. Well, this is, is there an advantage for Iowa State having played 11 games and you guys having played six? Is that something you guys have talked about or, or considered really? Um, no, I wouldn't say so because we, we've had to play games as well. So it's not like we're not fresh. If anything, I feel like the advantage might be to us because we've played less games. So our bodies are probably fresher a little bit more than them. But they've had, what, two weeks off, I guess. They, they have about two weeks where they kind of get their bodies back. I know they had the championship game, but I mean, it's, it's pretty even field here. Uh, it'll be a good game and, you know, we, we got to do our job. Perron, if I could ask you a question, obviously being in the Pac-12, you've played here before. Um, do you think that provides any kind of advantage over Iowa State who's never been here before? Um, I don't know if it would really be an advantage. I just know that for us, it's kind of something we've been through. So we don't let the game get bigger than itself. Uh, I know this is a big opportunity for them and a lot of people like to step up. It's opportunities, especially this being one of their, one of the probably the best ball games they've been to as a, as a team. And just, we can't take them lightly. Uh, we've been here before. It's kind of about being poised, especially in situations like this. You want to be poised as a team. You don't want to get too high or get too low. You want to stay even killed throughout anything that happens. So I feel like that's what, we can do, and uh, that, that'll help us a lot throughout the game. It's just staying even killed. Mm -hmm. Let's go to Zachary Martin with the Iowa State Daily. E e e yes. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, Brown, what is, um, what's the challenge of preparing for a team like Iowa State that uses, you know, the 13 personnel, multiple tight end sets that you guys, you know, don't see a lot of that problem? Um, I, I would say just they do so much. So they have 11 personnel, 12, 13, and then they do a lot within it. So the thing about them, they'll get to different formations. And that, that's always hard because you got to adjust. So they'll, they'll go to this formation, move the tight ends, and then motion somebody. So just make sure your eyes are right and uh, that, that every gap is accounted for. You got to make sure you're accounted for every gap and every person is accounted for, whether a man or zone, knowing where you need to be, knowing the situation, knowing where the six are. So that's what makes it a little difficult. And having – so many guys that can do pretty much everything, especially for me, I've been seeing a lot of tight ends and they have a lot of athletic tight ends that can really catch the ball and block. So having three of those guys makes things a little bit more challenging because they can do everything. So you can't lean to, oh, they're probably gonna run the ball here or lean to their passer. You gotta be able to play both. So I think that's what makes it a little bit challenging. Any other questions? If I could ask a, a follow-up, uh, we've talked a little bit about, you know, obviously the difficulty of this year, a year like no other, but as a student athlete, what is it personally that has helped drive you and help you to get through this and, and persevere and succeed? Um, kind of just throughout quarantine and everything, I really realized what my goals are and how I need to achieve those goals and just feeling like I can be better as a teammate and be better as a, as a person myself off the field and just Throughout this time, I know there will be opt-outs and a lot of adversity. And I felt like since I have a year in my belt, it's another time to, to step up and take that next step. And I feel like this year, I've done a good job with that. I've graduated and everything like that. Um, so that really has been easy for me school-wise. And then on the field, I mean, I love football. I'm very, very passionate about it and the ins and outs of it. So putting that all together and just bringing it on this year and 
taking in taking it into next year is just really helpful and I feel like that's really been impactful this year. Any other questions? All right. Well, Varone, thank you so much for your time and good luck on Saturday. Thank you.